What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in to what's going to be a tutorial. They are few and far between here and on YouTube in general because it seems like although people want them, they don't tend to watch them. But I was majorly inspired by the Mel Thompson and Sydney Grace Tiny Marvels palette and a lot of you guys when I reviewed this, you can either click the eye or check for the description bar down for a link to that review. But when I reviewed it, a lot of you guys asked for other tutorials using it because with the shade range in this thing, the possibility are just near limitless because there's it's such a fun combination of colors and textures so that's what we're gonna be doing here today and as you can see from my eyes two very different looks on one you have like sort of a softer romantic but still kind of colorful look and then on the other it's more dramatic more smoky but still with a pop of color so if you want to see how both of these looks came together let's go ahead and get started so on this side, I am first taking the shade Death Moth, which is like a medium, a light medium cool brown shade. And I'm sweeping that throughout my crease, starting at the outer corner, but then really working it up kind of above my crease and then fading it in towards my inner corner. And I'm doing that with an Esam G29 brush. This is one of my favorite multitasking brushes from Esam because it's big enough to where you can blend out in your crease, but you can also use it to pat color on the lid. You can even use it to like pat powder in your under eye area or buff highlight on your brow bone. It's so versatile. Then same brush, I'm going into the shade Tree Hopper and I'm using that to blend out Death Mop up to my brow bone, but leaving that tiny space in between where I'm placing that shadow and my actual eyebrow blank for the highlight. Now in my outer corner, I'm going in with the deep burgundy shade called Bugaboo with an elf pointed eye pencil brush. And I'm really loading up that shade in my outer corner and blending it in towards the center and inner half of my lid. Now I'm going in with the pink gold shade called Meadowhawk and using another Esam brush. This is the W23, a great flat shader to pack that shade across the lid. And that is a super gorgeous look if you want something soft, but I really wanna see what this looks like foiled. So I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray and I'm just gonna spritz a little bit of that onto my brush and let's see how this foils. The nice thing about these pan sizes is that they're big enough to where you can have like a wet section and then keep the rest of it dry without worrying about getting hard pan, depending on what you like to foil your shadows with. Ooh, yeah, that made the pink in this pop so much more. How pretty is that? Now with a Sigma Detail Diffused Crease Brush, I'm just gonna blend out that harsh line that uh, using that shadow foiled created right here just blend that out and then I'm going to use that same brush for my highlight right under, whoo, right underneath my brow bone. This is the shade Web, which is the frosty highlight shade in this palette. Then I'll also use that same shade Web in my inner corner. Now I wanna inject some color into this look. So I'm going in with the pastel purple shade called Jewel Bee and a wet and wild, I don't even know what this is, a small flat brush to pack that onto my lower lash line, the entirety of the lower lash line, sweeping it from my inner corner all the way to my outer corner. Then to add a little bit more depth to that outer corner, I'm using the same brush that I just used on my lower lash line and going into the shade Spider, the deepest brown in this palette. And I am patting that, really packing that into my outer corner, blending it into that gold, as well as extending and blending it out into uh, the outer V. And last but not least for the shadows, I'm going in with a gold shade called BB and an e.l.f. eye crease brush, and I am dabbing that right in my inner corner just to add a little pop of something else, a little pop of interest close to that inner corner on the lower lash line. For liner, I wanna go colorful for this look, and I'm gonna use the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Screamin'. Now I'm applying Urban Decay's new Lash Freak Mascara to my upper and lower lashes. I am going to apply a liner to my upper lash line, but because it is going to be a combo liner lash glue, I'm going to apply it after I do my mascara to make sure it doesn't dry or set at all before I have a chance to apply my lashes. By the way, I have to say, this is definitely getting better with age. The more it dries out, the more I like this uh, Lash Freak formula from Urban Decay. Okay, now going in with my Kiss Lash Liner Glue, I'm just applying a super, well not super, not too thin, but a relatively thin line on my upper lash line. It can't be too thin because if it is, there won't be enough product for your lashes to stick to. So something just like that will work. 
especially here in the inner corner, you really can't be too thin. Otherwise your, your lashes will lift. And that is the look for the first die. So one eye down, let's do the other one now. Okay, so first off for this look, I'm going in with again that deep matte maroon shade called Bugaboo. It's always the shade that I'm most attracted to if it's ever in a palette. And I'm using a small domed brush. This one's from Eddie Funkhauser. It's a really old brush. So I don't know if it's available anymore, but I'm patting that in my outer corner to deepen up my outer V and also etch out my outer V. And then I am also patting it in my inner corner to create a halo spotlight sort of look. And then I'm slightly connecting those two shades in my crease, lightly blending it out there just to make sure the two are connected. Then going in with another Isom G29, a clean one, and using the shade Walking Stick, which is this beautiful light matte all of green shade, I'm using that to blend out Bugaboo in my crease while also still going back in with Bugaboo to deepen up anything that might've gotten blended out in my crease. Now, to create the pop of color in the center, I'm using the shade Mantis, the beautiful bright pastel green. And I'm once again using a brush that I have wet using my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This is a luxe smoky shader, the 234 from Zoeva. And I'm patting the center of my lid with that green shade. Now at this point, the name of the game is blending. I just keep going back and forth which, with each of these shades and uh, to try to get that green in the center to blend as much as it can with the maroon in the inner and outer corner. Now on the lower lash line, I'm using the shade Spider, going in with another e.l.f. Professional Eye Crease brush, starting in the outer corner, really deepening it up out there and slowly blending it into my inner corner. But I do wanna leave that inner corner section blank because next up, I'm going in with Scarab, one of my other favorite shades in this palette and the other one that I'm always drawn to. And I'm gonna place that in my inner corner on the lower lash line and help it meet up with Spider in the center of my lid or the center of my lower lash line. And then because it's just such a perfect highlight, I'm going back in with web for both my brow bone and inner corner highlight. For this look, I wanted a brown liner on my waterline. So this is the Isom dual eye pencil in gold and brown, but I'm just using the brown on my lower waterline. Once again, doing mascara, but we'll follow up with liner. Now for the upper lash liner, I'm once again going in with a liner glue. This one's from Moitier Cosmetics and it's a brown shade because this was feeling like they needed more of an overall brown tone as opposed to a black. But then I am again gonna go in with those Ardell 817s. Okay, so those are the two eye looks done. On the rest of my face, just because I'm so bad about linking and mentioning these down in the description, I am wearing my Range Beauty Foundation. Mixed together are the shades Dune and Coconut Milk. Uh, for my concealer, I'm using my Pat McGrath, her only concealer, in the shade L7. What else? For bronzer, it's Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow, just the bronze side of things. And then for blush, I went in with the OPV Born to Shine blush palette. And I honestly just mixed like all these in the top row together. Cause I was like, how these are two totally different eye looks. I'm not really sure what to do. So I just kind of mixed some of these around and went with the flow. On my lips, I am wearing the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish from the Wonder Woman collection in the shade Birthday Suit. And then I do want to try as a highlight the shade Web from the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson palette. So let me grab a highlight brush. This is a Delium 787 and just gonna put a little here. Can you even see that? Whoa. Wow, that is gorgeous, which we should have known given the way it highlights, you know, the brow bone and everything, but that is a stunning facial highlight as well. Okay, now the whole look is complete. I really hope you enjoyed this two looks, one palette sort of tutorial. And in this specific format, normally I do like a voiceover with it. So let me know what you think of this. And if you wanna see this done with any other palette out there, let me know down in the comments below. Ooh, and also don't forget to tell me which of the two looks you like best down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.